Instagram Live. Genau. Hey. Yay. Hey. <laughs> oh, wait, let me turn my audio down. Oh, that's going to be a problem. What? Oh, no, I can't record it. Feedback oh. audio. Feedback systems. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are starting great. Right I <laughs> no, Hi, yeah, I just Char can't. is there. Hello, oh, yeah. Char. Hi, Char. Hey, Char. Oh, Mario, too. Our life in this shader path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, by the way, thanks yeah. to Char, yeah. she introduced us to mm -hmm. you it's true i mean yeah so uh that She's, was she also introduced me to shader so i'm like really? <laughs> oh really you, yes, yes. yeah yeah wow oh, okay cool because i remember you were the ta and one of you you yeah you helped me implement cost palette because i got super lost during ray marching well yeah <laughs> i like this chain of relationships yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i remember as well your name when char mentioned because you were on the workshops always but i never ended up in the room like eliza did with you so she remembered <laughs> more <laughs> So your hair looks super. Oh, I, I don't know if you can I, see the chat, but uh, she's saying that your hair is great. I thank you. Color. I had a problem. <laughs> I had a problem with the. I, I wasn't reading really the chat with the cameras. Like I had the HD here, the Kinect, but it's not working, so I have to go to low resolution. But if it's looking good, <laughs> yeah, it's still very red. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Is our so wait? Are we were is our audio everyone's audio good? Ah, yeah, that's today? a good question. Can our you usual... let us know? Mario Pumpardet Char My. is our, our Hello. is our ah. audio well at <laughs> this time? <laughs> yeah, Mario says great. Yay. Thank you, Mario. Awesome. <laughs> Finally, we made it. We or I made yes. it. <laughs> On the first time. Ah, and had to at some point, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'd get it eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe we should introduce you to the to the crowd that doesn't uh, know you. So yes. that uh, everybody today that doesn't know our guest is um, Sol Serratea, and you're a computational artist. And and maybe you can start by telling us a little bit more of, about yourself. What uh, what do you do? I'm, I'm, I'm like defined like a very nerd person <laughs> that likes uh, exploring new mediums for create for creating. Um, during the last year, I, I I had a background in maths, informal maths, and then I uh, studied uh, computing science and started making making software. Uh, and last year, I had the opportunity to go into the computer center. That is a wonderful place. Um, and I got into the into all these shader world and computer graphics. And during the last year, I've been like <laughs> developing all of this stuff. That is like my words are merging into one. Like all the math I knew, I can apply it to something to compute yeah. uh, to compute stuff. So I'm very grateful. I, I'm in love. <laughs> this is a world that I'm in love with. <laughs> uh, and I'm based in Buenos Aires. I'm from Argentina, like Patricia. Um, I, I I must say that. Um, I am from Conurbano, so I'm not as, you know, that uh, people Porteña is more ar arrogant than <laughs> I'm a little bit less. Anyway, I, I'm in Capital Federal, but I, I'm from the Conurbano. And that's a little bit about me. Like, I'm a merge in between arts and maths and code and everything. <laughs> and, I, and I love understanding how things work and how system works and uh, enabling new scenarios for creation. Like, that is like my priority <laughs> and you just gave you just gave a course no uh yes on, on merging and converting all types of data i know because yes I um <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it again uh, i think on june uh, tomorrow oh, really? or this week yes uh, like at the end of june i really enjoyed preparing that uh, it was called digital alchemy uh, yeah. and i was like transmuting Transmutation is the word. Like going from one yeah. transmuting, yes, yeah. uh, from one state to the other. If you have like a song, a visual art, and, and poetry or whatever, like I like playing with the boundaries of creation. And also, I think that we should know how computer works. For me, it's very important, and it's a good excuse, like to know five formats. Like I learn a lot about five formats, <laughs> um, uh, or debugging techniques, more like um, security stuff, and and showing that in a, in a way that people can understand and play with that, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's super valuable. Totally. 
Do you no, have a link, fun. by the way, about your course? Is there a link that you can share with us? I, yes. I wanted to put it in the screen to yes. um, um, hyperlink. I think yes, it's called it's no? a... Hyperlink Academy. Yeah, yes, I was it's just watching rewatching the fourth year, fourth week yesterday. Because I watched them a few times because there's a, a lot of new stuff for me. It is so yes, that, that's why my uh, one of the I send a, a link okay. here. I, I okay, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll, I'll okay. put it in the chat. Yeah. Um, yes, that was something that I had like feedback from the course that oh, there was too many, too much information. Like <laughs> there is they keep on like the sessions are self-contained, so I like exploring concepts, not just telling them. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot to do and to play and. Yeah. And I yeah, think it's super fun. There's like, and you put together these the Google Colab um, notebooks to play around with all the mm -hmm. all the different formats, and it's super super neat. Yeah, yeah, I'm still doing altering matter because <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm on session four. Yeah, and, yeah. and then we can we can think about future like uh, transmutations. Like totally. the other day, I I discovered like from uh, from sound to image. I think that it is there's a a, a nice transformation and with Kilbert cubes so you can you get that like an spectrogram of a Kilbert cubes and you get like pixel stuff wow. and it's super nice so maybe for next cohort i, I yeah. did something of that oh, nice and by the way cool. the courses for the people that is watching are is it for free or do you have to pay for this course <coughs> this is for course? this is paid um i offer some discounts uh, like the last week of of inscription and if someone wants to really attend it but cannot afford it i can Give a, a complete <laughs> discount. I, I have no problem, but um, I also like like this is kind of my work. <laughs> so yeah, I have to. <laughs> How much it costs, by the way? Just I'm just curious. Uh, I don't see the I information think, in here. Think, mm -hmm. It was a hundred in my in my memory. I think yes. hundred Maybe it's a hundred fifty. Yes, and then okay. it's a hundred dollars. It's uh, six uh, sessions. Including the five sessions. Yes. like the whole package yeah. of that okay, mm -hmm. cool. and then when you do it like you can keep the the video to kind of yes you, you we have all the classes ah and i can show you something and all her, her slides your slides were great so like thank you i so love i love preparing slides <laughs> so many um, i felt like i was crawling around inside your head it was really really nice i sent me. here another uh, this is like pre-release so we are like doing something new I made this sign from like at the beginning of each class, we have like a uh, discussion sessions in a pad price. So everyone is writing and sharing ideas. And I gather all that information and create a little sign. Yeah. And then you can also share. It's ready, but I was waiting. I'm going to put the links on. on... Oh, yeah. I put them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I right. was putting them right. so you didn't have Perfect. to do your Perfect. recording. So, yeah, exactly. Because I'm putting them <laughs> on the screen. So. Yeah, okay. okay. But it's awesome. No, it was a lot of fun. I, I recommend to anybody that yeah, is Yeah, I will check them out. I haven't checked them out, so I yeah. will check them out. <laughs> I mean, we put, what did, one of the ones that blew my, I mean, the first week already blew my mind enough, and we put um, sound in a in an image. I was like, being able to like send secret messages around. It's cool. Yes, well, that's, that's the polyglots. I, I yeah. just call him. Yeah, I, I learned a lot about polyglots that I think is from uh, info security stuff. And uh, you create like uh, multi-format uh, files and that was super interesting like putting a uh, you're using bits like to store image and then to store sounds and you can play an image okay. and it's reproducing sounds yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. yes. are you gonna redo them after like now uh these courses or do, this is the only this one? this is the course this is the first the, the first course uh, of the digital alchemy series i said mm -hmm. and it, it, i gave one cohort and i'm doing one uh, another one by the end of june and then eventually I would like, like to keep like <laughs> exploring this this path and maybe creating, I don't know, maybe an esoteric language or making a medium to play. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. I I'm I, I I really work hard on things that I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. By the way, what's your background before you went to this recourse school last year when I was I was uh, working uh, in software? like uh, software development before that i studied formal maths like i, I studied maths then started decoding mm -hmm. i started working as a software programmer and then i took a leave uh, from the company where i was working and i had the opportunity of going to the recruit center and also uh, this is very important 
I'm part of the life coding community. Yeah, was, I, I, and, I Anna, in life code NYC in Argentina. In Argentina, yes, Colectivo yeah. de Life uh, Coders. I sent everyone a, a big hug. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, Flor de Fuego, that is one of the, uh, uh, today is her, it's her birthday. And she, oh, happy birthday. Just, yes. Ooh, I sent <laughs> stuff about her in her Instagram, so happy birthday. Yes, yes, okay. she's, she's awesome. Um, and the, the collective is awesome. And the, I had the opportunity when I went to New York to meet the community there of Life Coding. Uh, where I met Char also. <laughs> okay, okay. And before fact. doing shaders and GLSL, I was doing Hydra, that is a, mm -hmm. a ah, framework created by. Super yes, nice. yeah, that, yeah. that also is exploring this idea of, of it, it, digital signal systems. processing, but for video. Yes, I love yes. that. Yes. Wow. yes. And also, I had the super luck of um, being in the house with a mathematician, Andre, I don't know if you know him, mm -hmm. uh, Andre Creative Coding, I think it's. Uh, and I also learned a lot about feedback systems. So while I was in the Recure Center and, and New York, I was like studying all this stuff. And then okay. I, I, I was trying again, uh, bringing my things off maths and, and learning and implementing and playing. And it's like, okay, this wow, is amazing. Your favorite, your favorite topic, per se. Um, yeah. Well, this is all this, what I'm, what I'm going to talk about is what I was learning. Like, I'm so systems. excited. And implementing feedback systems also was uh, everything like from scratch was a lot. It was like I was learning, <laughs> I was learning uh, everything from scratch, and and it was a, a great journey. <laughs> cool. Which brings um, us to what are we doing today? It's so exciting. It's like one of my yes. favorite topics to read about and try and wrap my mind around. <laughs> yes, oh, hello, uh, today. Uh, Sorry, hello. I was saying goodbye. Hello to more people <laughs> that came to the hello. chat. <laughs> Um, today I bring a, a very a simple example of a feedback system. A feedback system is something that uh, receives as input the, the same as or introduces it. What it comes from the output, it introduces from the input, so it creates this loop and you kind of play with that. And it's super interesting exactly. because, yeah. uh, yes, uh, because mathematicians study a lot, like uh, video feedbacks re uh, represents or has a lot of complexity. I'm not a mathematician, I'm doing this with art, but also I can talk a lot about that because I've been reading and learning a lot. So uh, the, the behavior of, of complex systems can be simulated with this. And I think that there's a super interesting paper. I left it on the notes. Mm -hmm. from which it, one? Uh, the one from UC Davis or which one? Yes, maybe there's a, there's a nice video that we can share, the first one. Yes, uh, the, first one the one that says general or the one that says space time? Difference? No, the general is just a, um, <laughs> a video from Cool and the Gun because we, we see the feedback effect there. <laughs> like, feedback oh, for us is the gym, the other one, the field one, the entry. Yes, okay. that, that yeah, was yeah. Uh, recommended by Olivia when she introduces Hydra uh, oh, okay. for this. I will put um, it on the screen. Meanwhile, you talk, yeah, without sound, yes. it's okay, right? So, yes. Um, and there is like uh, the study of, of space time uh, and, and patterns formation uh, with this idea of the feedback. Um, and today we're gonna play with that and see how 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 is different like the analogic world like video synthesis with computing in making computation with that uh, because we have to discrete this quotation I, I, I define it, uh, that it's when we are implementing it on, on our computers. Um, if you have questions, you can ask me. I also love um, I one the of the... I mean, while you're talking, the video is... Ah, yes, uh... I love it. Well, those are all the patterns that are like the uh, autonomous behaviors of systems. Like what is nice is the the unpredictability of, of the systems and um, like I'm amazed that that mostly any complex system can be simulated with one of these and I don't know if you heard about cellular automatons but mm -hmm. there's a close relationship with feedback systems because what we are doing essentially is defining like the uh, like the current state with information from, from the previous one and if you okay. think thinking about cellular automatons, you are, yes, you, yeah. you have like rules and with the feedback systems we're going to implement today, we are, we are going to be doing kind of the same, uh, but with not the, a restricted uh, setup of rules, if not, it's like 
okay, I'm having this um, neighborhood, I will take the average of the neighborhood and I will be weighted and, and, and we will yeah. be playing with that. That's I'm it. excited. Oh, yes, now there's so sort cool. of like cells, yeah. <coughs> if it's called like that in the screen. Cool. Yes, and I also uh, then, when it were in the documentation with you that it said maths, yeah. um, the chapter five that says I'm a strange look, I love that mathematician. Uh, Douglas Costaster is one of my kind of most influenced. And I love that phrase because he's comparing video feedback. There's a, a whole chapter that he just talked about video feedback, like analogic video feedback, mm -hmm. uh, and compares it with the Mandelbrot set and mm -hmm. says how um, looping, this very simple looping process gives rise right, to a family of truly anticipated and incredibly well. Patterns. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I and I love this idea of uh, composing simplicity to generate complexity. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's I was hmm? I was reading the Stephen Wolfram book. You saw it right when I posted it. I was just reading it today, and he's talking all about that. It makes me so happy. Uh, I love that you can do crazy looking things with very simple, um, like little bits of code. Makes yes, and this is really really close to all that uh, theory. So uh, we're going to have, and also what I love when I'm e exploring these systems is sometimes I don't know what to expect. <laughs> so yeah. uh, it's, it's nice that to like yeah, play with parameters and, I, and identify. Uh, I generally like kind of uh, but, uh, let myself like, okay, you're going to produce this pattern or do this. I studied a morphogenesis, have you mm. heard of? It's mm -hmm. uh, so pattern we, formation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> It was studied by Turing uh, a lot of years ago, and he, he generated a, a paper. And there's some models, a great Scott model, and uh, what well, that model that I implemented that with the JS for generating this, this uh, reaction diffusion system. Sort of mm -hmm. They diffuse and they have like substances that, that react uh, and generate the pattern. Uh, for today, we prepared just the diffusion that is super simple and so, so we can understand how it works. And also, <laughs> this is something like, trash. but uh, the other day I was talking with uh, Elita that uh, I generated glitter on my screen and then I couldn't generate it again. And I no, was like, I no, saw it on I, Instagram. I was yes, so hyped. Yes. Uh, and anyway, I, I could, uh, but I identified a bug on, on how on what I was doing. But the good thing of implementing everything by your own and in this context of, of, complete, of creative coding is like bugs eventually becomes like superpowers. <laughs> yeah. So now like I understand a new effect as well. <laughs> the yes. and, and I will I will talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it would be fun because it, it gives us an uh, a major power I think of, cool. of this mm. feedback system. So when we are ready we can Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say what so what's like the first step? I can move to like, should I move to the code pen now? Because I, I'm still playing that yeah. video is quite long. So. Yes, we can. Yes, we can go to the code pen and start with the. I think with the JavaScript, I like made the. the I copied the, the template I, I generally used, mm -hmm. um, so and, and everyone can do their own uh, filters. <laughs> and also because having with the camera now, what I will show you, but you can create the feedback system with your uh, analogic camera. So you don't even have to code any shader. And if you have like this, you can play with buttons. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. I, I never did it with 3JS, but I've done it with P5JS. Um, I was playing I think, with the webcam. I think that I maybe don't have the correct link because I don't see you guys. I see my face, uh, but I don't see you guys. And I see on the The Twitch link chat. should have collab on it, like the URL. Yeah. Otherwise, you grab a different one. I'm on the yeah. I'm on the one that I started in the Instagram. Right above. It's the last. I see you actually. You're here. I see oh, you. Oh, okay. Eliza is Wait, there. Let me read I, I see. I see you also. No, I don't see. You. I see Anita. <laughs> yeah, I, I can read in here that both of you are are connected. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me so read maybe just refresh. Because and I Should see I... Sol's cursor. I see mm. Sol's cursor, but I don't know. But we're in the JavaScript file. By the way. Oh, that's why. Okay. Remember? There you are. No. We're in the, the last, not in the oh, normal the JavaScript HTML. file. Sorry, my bad. Yep. Oh, I see you guys. Okay. Sorry, like, guys. My yes. bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I think you were up in the. Sorry, yeah, I was playing HTML, hanging out in the shaders. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Should we walk through what you set up here? 
Yes, I want to make a, a quick uh, walkthrough and yeah, explain, and if you have questions, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, the first function is for initializing Webcam, that it might be um, simple, but <laughs> it's it's a bunch of code, so this function is just for initializing a texture, a VKS texture, a video. Um, and then, well, what we are using for creating the, the feedback, uh, it's a technique that is called ping pong, so we have like two different things. We have the main scene and the buffer scene, and then we are like uh, swapping textures. So we create that ping pong effect and we can fit one uh, scene with the other one. Mm -hmm. So uh, here I'm setting the, the main scene. Uh, and second. here I am, Hold yes. Second. I think I have to come to the ping pong part. Uh, yeah, the ping pong. main scene. Yeah, I, I'm there, I'm in there. I mean, I'm in the line 30, yeah, like exactly. setup main yeah. scene, and then after that, it's the setup buffer scene. Like, I, I like first setting up stuff of the scenes and then initializing. So, here are like setting uh, stuff, uh, like both scenes and the, and the textures. It's, it's ping pong, mm -hmm. the virtual vendor target. Yeah, I see that you put it, you named the variables yes. ping pong. <laughs> yes, oh, <laughs> I think. <fine>. I like <laughs> uh, oh. And uh, then we are initializing with the shader materials. Hold on a second. Uh, Where is the render target? Ah, oh, sorry. It's yes. Filter and the format. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, nothing. Continue. Are you Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't say anything, but it's okay. Uh, then uh, the initialization of the of the buffer thing. Uh, and the initialization of the main scene with uh, the shaders, the, the respective shaders. This uh, specific template, I use it like the buffer scene will be just uh, buffering a copy of the scene, but uh, it's generally when, if we go... By the way, a quick this, question about the yes. buffer uniform that you chose channel zero, that could be any channel yes. that one wants, right? So yes. This is just a for it would be receiving the the texture that I will be saving from uh, the main scene. Can I ask a potentially basic question? Mm -hmm. But what is what is a buffer? I see that word all the time. I I define it like a box. I think it will define it like a box. Like the buffer would be the box that will be storing data. So if I think something that that I should mention, I didn't mention when I'm thinking. Uh, on these systems, like I'm thinking of on a sequence, sequential, sequen sequential. Sequence, <laughs> sequence of frames, like you have several frames. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, with this technique, look, what I'm doing is, okay, I get this frame, I store it and I update the other, uh, and I and I send okay. this to the, to the other line. I don't know okay. if you get to see it. Yeah. Like this is the line with lots of frames. This frame, I storing it in the buffer that it's my box and then I send it back to the... Cool. Um, and, Another um, question regarding that, by the way, since Eliza asked this question already, I'm, I'm, this is supposed yes. to be more performant, isn't it? Like when you're using this buffer technique? Um, I don't know if it's more, in, in, in what sense more performance? Like. I know nothing about performance, so I can't. I'm uh, yes, I, I mean, because, I about <laughs> because I was thinking in three years. Remember, n not anymore. But um, I think since the latest revision, they remove um, before they have two type of geometries, like like uh, for example, box geometry or um, sphere geometry, and ah, then they had the yes. sphere buffer geometry or box. Oh. And since revision, I don't remember the name. It's recent. Maybe it has half a year. Um, they decided to to simply stop separating them, and when you use the box uh, geometry, it's the box buffer geometry, so you don't have to have these two different types of um, geometries. And supposedly, it was my understanding that it was more performant to use the buffer geometry instead of the. That's why I asked this question now. No, <laughs> so yes, I just trying to understand. Uh, Someone in the chat is saying yes. I think I think you're right. But I think it, okay. I think it, it, you're right. Anyway, I think that for me it was like I'm very how do you say this? Um, despistada, ah, <laughs> um, uh, clueless, clueless. I think that clue, is, yeah, clueless. Uh, That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this is just uh, like I've been. Uh, copying the code of, of things I yeah. did, so mm -hmm. 
I wasn't doing with intentions of optimization, but okay. what I was doing with intention is having, because something that is generally done is like you have your buffer or, or the things that you are computing, mm -hmm. and then you, are, you have a, your output scene that mm -hmm. is just a mapping like that texture that you can see it on the fun function render ID, ID like the one that it's commented. <coughs> Hold on a oh, I see. Yeah, there you are. Which line? Because when you scroll down into the commented section. Oh, yes, okay. I, I will explain the comment because it's important. Like what we are trying to do is like at each step of our rendering, uh, we want to save the the put the buffer into the main scene and, and the main scene save it to the buffer. We have to do that swap of textures for making the loop. Uh, so it, it is generally done like this with the material like mapping one texture onto the other. But I like the other way uh, because I wanted to have like shaders on both sides. And <laughs> I discovered my bug. <laughs> uh, the other way is the, is the code that is under the, the commented one. Like if you want to have like a, a, a feedback uh, loop common one, you use the, the first render function. But the other one, what I'm doing, it's, I'm saying, okay, I will save the buffer to the, uh, like the buffer current frame to the ping and the buffer current frame to the, uh, I put oh. into I, to the pong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One is, I, I, will, I will edit it right now. This is the pong. Uh, this is a C, a C frame. I think it would be a little bit annoying, like the refreshing of the code. Okay. Uh, and doing this, uh, every time that we are using that rendering set render target, we are running the shader. So what I am doing, that it was my bug, is it was um, stepping another frame, like I was buffering the next frame, but I wasn't uh, uh, rendering to the main thing. Do you get it or I can explain that again? Because it's like every time that the renderer renders uh, the scenes, it, it is running the code of the shader. Of, of the shader. And I, if I, as I was running it uh, once more just to store it in a texture, I was having like an extra step. Like I wasn't saving the current frame, but I was saving one step further. Like I was, if I think I'm God, <laughs> I'm not like taking a picture to the current moment. If not, I was making one step, uh, one step more and saving that to the buffer. And it cre it created like super uh, amazing stuff like glitter. Yeah, <laughs> glitter exactly. came from yeah. from that. So the the feedback systems like understanding how how to store frames uh, also allows you to explore new ways of feedback systems. It's not just like the the, the previous buffer will define the, the the next one because you can play with lines of times if you have like several buffers and you have and you decide when to to uh, to store in your box each frame. Um, so this is another thing that I want to say super important that uh, at this point I identify the like, information that should be in your system not that should be handled by your shaders and information that should be handled from your UI or your PJS like mm -hmm. all this stuff that is uniform from for all the users yeah. like mm -hmm. okay or, or this general information like when to save which buffer and uh, which yeah. frame where and all that stuff. Uh, you do it on this side, and for that I like the I added those um, the if and the for the for loop. The for loop eventually says how many like steps you you wanna go further or not. Like <laughs> do the uh, do this uh, three, four, five times, uh, and each time that you are rendering the target, you are applying uh, the the shader, um, and the the if. I put one because it's just always, but I was gonna uh, you ask can decide. You. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait. Yes, <laughs> but we can play with that later, that cool. changing the one for two, three, four, and like every four frames, every six frames, you're okay. going to end up one and two. Oh, cool. OK, so this is all the general information of the video side. If you have questions, you can ask me. If not, we can play with that. <laughs> Did you get this template, by the way, on the very first time? Did you write it on your? By yourself or did you pick things from different people 
No, I write it on my own. I've been like uh, learning a lot. Like okay. when I was studying in, in 3JS, I was uh, like, okay, I want to implement, I wanted to implement the reaction diffusion system that is much more complex. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, what, what do I need? And I went uh, one uh, step before and started with the simplest one that is uh, the, this idea of diffusion. And I think I got some, okay. some code from, I don't remember. Did you but it was like, one? sorry, go ahead. It wasn't updated, so I, I, I was, I had a, a very debugging time, hard time, <laughs> like, you know, the, is cleaning the renderer, setting the render to null, and then, because that eventually is like, you use the renderer to, to store into the buffer, and then you clean it, and then you uh, keep on. And, and that is something that changed, and I, I couldn't, like, debug it, because I was using a function that it, it wasn't working anymore. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, they change it a lot. That's why I mean, kind of like with this buffer geometry, uh, mm -hmm. that now uh, is not there anymore. Um, uh, so, and I think yesterday they or two days they did a new release. So, I mean, I, it's exciting that they um, put uh, time to update it so often, <laughs> honestly, because they keep improving yes. it and putting more stuff. So that's cool. Yes, that's super cool. cool. Uh, anyway, it's a super cool framework. Now I'm exploring other frameworks like Regal Party. I don't know if you like Party. Regal Party. Like Regal, right? <laughs> no, uh, Regal, I think it uh, is like a declarative uh, WebGL. Uh, it was super nice and it's like more uh, straightforward, maybe if you want to do some specific stuff. But 3JS is like, I know 3JS. <laughs> like, this is my template. Uh, it in the chat. I've heard of Regal. I played around with it briefly, but. Uh, I yeah. have some, some also. Uh, Okay. Inventors, uh, trials of making uh, feedback systems, I of computing about, feedback systems. I knew about Babylon and I knew about OpenGL, these other like libraries, I guess. But this one I didn't know. It's, they say it's, that it's easier than writing raw WebGL, but you don't, yeah. But I guess, yeah, so it's an, it's, you don't need to manage state or binding. It's also lighter and faster and has less overhead than many existing 3D frameworks, yeah. Yes, okay. I, oh, I, I really have, yes, mainly for a future event. <laughs> Inspired by React? Okay, now I'm curious because I love the React, like I love the React at, like atmosphere. atmosphere? Uh, Universe. Yes. <laughs> Not the way that the data flows. It makes sense it, to me. Yes, it, it's because it might be similar because it's declarative. So yeah. the, the how you handle or you think of states, uh, have you heard about the functional paradigm or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah. that, yes. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> so that makes me so happy. It makes sense to my brain. Yeah. I can't tweet, um, uh, the other one. Oh my goodness. Which I'm one? blanking now. The the main the yeah. one that everyone's always encouraged to learn. Uh, OPP -O object oriented. O -P. O -P. All right. <laughs> but also, I kind of like I was I once wrote an article that was a uh, bit. The wizard of oh, I put like a magician that was uh, using this and was using it in the right way. Like yeah. if you have like a tech system, maybe and sometimes in some scenarios it's good. It's good to have that. And also, I recommend Erlang. It's a super nice mm. uh, language that it's like like uh, I had a, a, a I studied a lot about languages and. You don't have to marry any paradigm. Like try to to understand in which context works better mm -hmm. and uh, oh, according exactly. to the solution. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but sometimes yes. Like if you kind of get used to only just one paradigm and you like think all your problems in that way, you are conditioned. conditioned. Yeah. No. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember. I, say I, I do like object oriented programming. Uh, uh, like in I, uh, not only with JavaScript, like with CSS, I like uh, some parts of it. I mean, I, say I don't. Yeah, I don't. The, I don't love it, but that doesn't mean that I don't use it. I use it a ton in Unity. Um, but I do remember one of the first languages I learned was Closure, and I loved it. Yes, it oh, was my yeah. first language yeah. too. <laughs> I love yeah. these. I love parentheses. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the good thing about Closure is that you can go from one word to the other. Like you can be super functional, and you can also be like a or yeah. objective oriented programming because sometimes you need that in your mm. situation. So it's yeah, like yeah. you have both yeah. stuff. Yes, I love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everything uh, has its place. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, um, going back to the code, yes, um, with this JavaScript, like we we set it up on the architecture of our of how we're gonna be handling the the buffers and all that stuff, and now mm -hmm. we can play with shaders. Yay. So I went up. Yes. Uh, so if you see how I manage the material with the with the scenes, like the buffer one is having the, I think it's the copy shader. And Are you the, the, I'm focusing on the fragment shader, right? So we have both right? because what I, what I like of what I did <laughs> because you, you have like one fragment having, shader that it's called copy, right? So yes, because um, I like having this idea of not only storing into a, a shader, if not you are storing with an action. So in this action, I'm just copying the frame, but you can eventually add functionality to that action and you can like change color or you can change whatever and you will be buffering with, a function. you will be buffering a special version of your last frame. Uh, so I want to show you, I don't know if, like if I edit the, well, let's see, because when you will you have it, your... When you okay. edit, this is the whole thing with this collab mode that we can see what you do. But the, Yeah, uh, the screen will refresh and we'll see your Exactly. Changes. That's why sometimes it will refresh, but it's just because it's refreshing for everybody. And okay, so I want to do an example. Uh, let's do, for example, if I want to add functionality, as I said. I'm very bad with, very bad with keyboards. I'm very used to my editor. <laughs> so be patient. Uh, Which editor do you use? I'm learning Emacs because I learned I you stuff. <laughs> I'm going to use Emacs. I, I, I must, sure. I must do it. Uh, but it has so many weird like commands that my my hands are used to that, and I mm. I don't I don't. Ooh, I love it. Okay. That's, or maybe maybe it's should much. I put my webcam so people can oh yeah see you guys are like because... watching me play with the camera and you don't have your webcam on yeah turn your webcam on okay. you'll, you'll see the was... effect okay it's it's fun like this is a load but this is uh, the idea of I'm using oh, okay. uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm, cool. I'm, so, hold on a second. Second. I'm gonna remove it for a second <laughs> for me yes so to show oh. people because they can only see my screen right so they cannot see your screens so this is like the normal webcam, which is a little bit distorted, I see, because it's not like the, um, it's not proportional. That's what I meant. Oh, um, yeah, that's just, right? I think so, that that's just a code but thing. But it doesn't matter. So, and now we put your effect. And now we have this. And it's yeah, convenient. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and something that is very cool, if you so want to try. Uh, also, if we commented, well, this was the idea of, like this shader is not just copying, but mm. copying with an action that I think that it's super powerful when you are designing your feedback systems or playing with feedback systems. That having this ability, like instead of using the last frame, you can use the last frame, your glitched last frame. <laughs> mm. uh, and one thing I, I, before we go to the, to the other, I will comment that. And if you have, oops, if you have one of these, or and if you uh, I'm, I'm using your... my, my camera from my laptop in there so that's oh, and I see that's that nice. it's a bit distorted my image so I, I want to share this because you can play I want to sh I maybe you can do wait this would be a lot <laughs> no I cannot do what did or you want to say I want to show how you record if you record with your webcam your screen you're doing another loop uh, and you ah, can create okay. patterns Okay. And you can play with that. Uh, with that uh, we cannot listen to you, Eliza. You muted yourself, so. I wasn't saying anything. I'm ah, okay. Um, I was, was, was going to suggest, though, otherwise you want to share your screen, Saul. So you can do it. Uh, that, that made me more yeah. intelligent than moving <laughs> the monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, what can I do? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, let me share my screen. You were saying something super important. <laughs> Who was? Who? Me? Yes, about oh. sharing the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like the easiest solution. I'm trying to spare you guys my cough, but then I forgot to turn my mic back on. Okay, this is what I want to show you. That it, uh, for people that. Wait a second. Okay. Because I need to put it like. Give me a moment. Yes. I'm, I'm Otherwise, ready. people won't see it because I have to make it a little bit bigger in here. 
So yeah, go ahead now. Okay. So what I was suggesting it was this, like filming your screen, and you eventually can can play and find patterns like mm -hmm. there. It should be appearing. like a kaleidoscope. I see. Yes, or <laughs> maybe the resolution is not that good. Yeah, you can you play like this a lot. Flores, yeah. Here it's like moving, mm -hmm. and I'm not doing anything, and you can you can have like an spiral. And this is what eventually mathematicians, yes, yeah, look what a perfect yeah, yeah. spiral. This is perfect. So if you want to learn about patterns and, and, and feedbacks and video feedback synthesis, like this is a digital, it's not analogic, but you can play with this template, it's it's enough. You can also add shaders and play around with that. But if you want just to, to understand like, wait, what are feedback systems? I'm receiving an input and I'm, uh, this thing I'm, I'm feeding into the, uh, into the, into the mm. system and you can play with with this uh, so it's this is so much fun and this uh, i learned a lot thanks uh, to andre oh mm -hmm. my god i love it <laughs> uh, and there are some patterns that uh, as they are unpredictable you kind of get to cows i think what you can do. and you are like uh, Oh, thank you, computational mama. My keyword, my keyword is uh, the regular Apple keyword, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just and it's very old. I got it in ten years ago, I think. Oh, I love this. It was a gift. So much. Oh, yeah. yes, this is super interesting. And the thing is that like, like they are like they this will eventually move forever. <laughs> uh, for me, it's something like okay, it's it's like how word. <laughs> works <laughs> okay this is enough for mathematical theory and all that stuff but uh, we can now go to our I love simple it. diffusion are system. you gonna stop presenting so then i'm gonna resize ah yes 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 i can go to the code pen uh, so i will commence this so our copy shader will just copy as we are expected to and uh, i am going now to the line 57 Okay. Define what we're gonna do. And also, I will. There's there's an option to, like, uh, silence the refresh automatic refresh. No. It, what do you mean, silence? Anytime if that's the part of the collab, so or part of code okay. in general. Anytime you yeah. make a change, the to take it into account. Yeah. But um, for for the uh, yesterday I played with one collab and it had the, uh, the oh, really like yes. Like I could do it manually, but maybe with collab oh, we can't. Yeah. Ah, no, don't really worry. Like, I can check. I don't think so. I think Let if anyone has it, it'll be. Oh ah, no! Save automatically. Yes. I'm gonna turn it off. Maybe that. Okay. Helps. Hold on. But then you have to do it manually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, just, maybe just for writing some stuff, and then we can cool. enable it. Yes. But if not, we can we can maybe this Look, I way. turn it off. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> if it doesn't work out, like, we don't see anything. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here in this in this uh, buffer that is the one from the main thing, where we, are you where now? our Hold line on. fifty-seven. Fifty-seven, yeah. Oh, okay, you went to the uh, fragment shader, the main one. Mm -hmm. Yes, because now we are thinking. Somebody shaders. ask what what language is this? We're using uh, shaders. Uh, we're right now in a fragment shader. I'm gonna come a little bit mm -hmm. up, and we're rendering our shaders with three yes. Yes. Oh, okay, nice. So, could it be replicated? Uh, somebody is asking if this could be replicated you can or something. translated in could. processing. Yeah, you I, could. I, I didn't hear the... Uh, if it I, could be translated to processing, what we're doing the, right now with 3 years. Yes, I, I, I never code anything in processing, but I guess that maybe, like if yeah. you have, the, if you have a way of, of offering stuff... Maybe. You definitely can do shaders and you can definitely access a webcam. So I, I would think yes. In P5, yes, by the way, I know it's possible because I've done it. I, I've done it with audio on P5. And and I know that you can do the shaders, but processing, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know anything I, about processing. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess that if, if it has like this ability, yeah, if, if it has WebGL, it's yes. <laughs> Everything that it's on top of WebGL, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so our objective here would be update the pixel color because we are thinking they need changes. So yeah. let's color those pixels. Um, 
with information uh, from information information of previous frame. I think it's still refreshing, by the way. Yeah, for me, it's still refreshing. Yeah, me too. But it's whatever. Like a... But I don't mind. Keep on. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. You are the one that minded. <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's uh, introduce like we, we what we're gonna do now is get the neighbor click the neighbor from the dust okay. frame oh, uh, the yes and and take the the average mm -hmm. i always have a problem from finding that word it's like my my head is thinking promedio 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 but in english <laughs> average uh, i will copy this because the neighbor from the previous okay. yes and here what i call the Delta X would be the, the, the step size that we would be doing on the X, 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 X uh, axis. <laughs> this is a float. So you got a pixel right, variable, yeah. final comma, what can capture? This is close. Uh, what I'm doing here, this is the size of the pixel. This oh, is the okay. size of the pixel. Uh, and uh, what I'm doing with the, getting the neighborhood is the north, south, east, and west directions, and the north, east, northwest. So it are the eight pixels uh, eight pixels eight in the neighborhood of the mm -hmm. of the pixel. This is another way. Also, I uh, when I was learning uh, shaders, you use a lot of grids and and that, and you can code this. But you can also use like the previous frame from doing that, and just clipping the information from the texture. Mm. Cool. Yes. Um, and By the way, the, do you necessarily need to always fetch like the dot RGB? From no, the that's something I did because uh, uh, I because like. Normally, them. you don't like to. You don't need to, right? Because that would be no. like entering dot RGB would mean like the same as not entering it. No, isn't it? Like I like RGB? I like this, defining like a new color with key, and then I don't know, it's something like super systematic okay. of me, like and and I. It's I'm no playing problem. With I just wanted to ask the question for people that is reading <laughs> it, and maybe they think that they they have to define it like that, but not necessarily. No, right. no, and also I think that um, in other contexts of of WebGL, you don't you can use another function like to uh, to clip a section of the of the texture. But I made this in the force first, and in the force I cannot mm -hmm. use like. <laughs> so I, I I like leave it like this. Um, I think I don't remember the name of the WebGL function, but you can clip like a section of a gesture, oh, okay. mm -hmm. like a window. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I also will copy. It. So what we are gonna do now is we're gonna be adding, like. This is the new color that we will. Our starting point is the last uh, last frame that has the information of the current pixel you are standing on. Like this is the the, the, the current color. There are some comments. Current color, and I will copy all this because it's a lot. <laughs> Where is the because now oh, the last frame is the back buffer. Yes, this is the last, it's like from the texture that we were uh, storing on the buffer, we will be uh, picking the information of the current pixel and it's that, and then we are going to get the information of the neighborhood. And now we have to do something with the information of the neighborhood. So we can alter, uh, or we can, uh, yes, alter or create our system. So um, here I will copy the process. But I, I had this idea of doing something and having different rates of diffusion, like different numbers we can play with this. Mm -hmm. So what we can we are doing is that we remove it's uh, we will be adding on each direction with a rate of diffusion that depends. I, I chose three different ones because it's nice to see how affects it each channel, like the RGB, uh, if it, if it's diffusion if it's diffusing in a certain velocity. And then we are uh, dividing by the by the total amount of pixels that we are adding. That we have nine, and we are dividing by nine. Can I ask uh, how do you know that you have nine? <clears throat> because you have like the eight directions, like the, the four in the cross and the four in the X, mm -hmm. and the current one. So you you ah, are, you are okay. okay. And then you can wait, like you are making a, a weighted average of that information. Like you can wait each okay. pixel 
by a value. Mm -hmm. the, what I call the diffusion rates are like the, the weighted uh, amounts that I'm giving to, I decided to uh, specify for each RGB channel, but you can use just one number and say, mm -hmm. okay, this pixel will have this weight, uh, mm -hmm. or you can define a weight for each pixel of the neighborhood, and that will define the behavior of your system. Okay, wait, I have a question. Or rather, yes. I'm going to try yes. and summarize what we're doing right now to see if I understand this properly. But we have a webcam feed, yes. and we have it on two textures. Mm -hmm. And the frames from these textures are being no, stored. No, wait. Um, I think that texture only. We have it in one texture, yes. Oh, sorry. Maybe, okay. maybe the initialization, I put webcam texture twice, but that's like. Okay. What we are having right now is in one channel we are like, uh, having the webcam and in the other channel we're having the back buffer. That is the thing we store in the in the box. The frames. So when we're taking yes. frames out of the webcam, yes, so you're and we're copying in the box. We're cloning the first uh, frame then, of that video. Yes, okay. but eventually when you start like applying these functions, like this, uh, altering the the local behavior of pixels, like the back buffer uh, would have other information that webcam. Like right now, it's webcam because we are not doing anything. <laughs> okay. But basically, what we're doing is taking bits of the webcam feed, putting them in boxes, and then taking them back out and checking their neighbors at some point. Yes. But what we are putting into the boxes is not the webcam, if not, it's the final scene, like the main scene. Like what oh, we will right. be saying, we are, we are storing that. We are storing that, and then we are mixing it with. Like cool. right now, it's all webcam because. We didn't add any rule yet, uh, but it's like when we have like these rules that will define the behavior. We will. Okay. Uh, awesome. And so the the things yeah. that are stored are bent, are are the three JS scene basically the frames of the three JS scene. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, and yes, and <laughs> this I think that shouldn't be doing anything if I oh, just okay. mix. Yes, no, because I'm not using the, the new color <laughs> at all. But if I use it, I think that it shouldn't be doing anything. Yeah, computational moments into the cardinal directions. I like that too. I feel like that's very intuitive. Using north, east, south, west, mm -hmm. or south, west, south, north, south, east, west, yeah. I, li I like it also. That's all the, all the stuff I've been like learning <laughs> in this process. Like <laughs> naming also was. Um, Okay, I'm not seeing any change. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. It's black for me. <laughs> Maybe we have. Uh, uh, I think it happened before, so th there must be a typo. I am sure of it <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Like, so we just have to retrace back and see. Uh, Maybe there's um. I just copied the. Is it the console? Oh, is wait, there a... if you pull the ah, console. Wait. Maybe like this. You can pull the console on, on CodePen and maybe read. Yeah, you the, can make it wider if you want to make it easier. to. There, there it is. Now I oh, see myself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. because I was, um, when I defined the, the delta x and delta y, like the, the size of our neighborhood, I was uh, using a vector and uh, it's a float. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the x and y in both of them, right? Okay. And right now, it shouldn't be doing anything. No. And... I'm here very, like, deformed yes. somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna go this is get some water, water for a second, so I'll be back. Meanwhile, okay. I'll fix this. So, our webcam feed makes up the whole entire 3JS scene, <clears throat> but we're adding stuff to it after. And so the cardinal north, south, east, west, right, you're grabbing the back buffer, which is what has the little bits that we've already saved in it. I'm sorry, what was the question? I was saying. And when you get the neighborhood from the previous buffer, you're reaching back into the box, right? And you're taking the stuff out for like north, south, east, west. Yes, we are taking the, the things from the box. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing anything. Oh, you're not? <laughs> I, you I, I you see. the code pen because I can see I stuff. I see it. Yeah, me too. But I, it's not. Uh, let's put like. You may need to save it. It's working numbers, for me. But you're just saying you're not seeing any diffusion system. No, no, not that. Just a webcam. So maybe. Where did you go? Did you want up? 
I'm just editing the diffusion rate, maybe what? Like On line 59. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, that's not true. On line 77, she was my bad. I was looking at you, Lucia. Yeah. <laughs> There's, I see something, a, a, a cursor flashing, but no name. Maybe that's, oh, that's mine. Ah, okay. I found so in line nine. Um, nine. Yay! Yeah. Mm, let's see, I will debug this. So, new color, north times the field. Cool. Maybe I'm just like mixing a lot. Mm, do you think? Do we add new color to, the, oh, okay. Is I it the smooth steps, too. maybe? That is because I'm clamping the number in between, maybe when this are clamped. Or maybe, or let's, let's I was comment to change that, but... So if it's really doing something. So now we see, I see black. Oh, yeah, no, I see myself, I see it but like very white. Pale. Yeah, and I see it white, like a blur. Okay. Mm. So sometimes what I like, I not like <laughs> at the same time. Uh, of webcam inputs, that it's that uh, it depends like on the light and and it's yeah. uh, not always the same. No, it's I'm not, very not the same if I'm if I'm yes. Like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can do like let's do this way. Does oh, does the new color here the this one on line ninety four should it yes equals or should it be a plus or something? Let's try with a plus, maybe, uh, and let's clamp in. I think she's dividing it because it's the average. That's what she meant. Like it has to be divided. There was there was nothing there before. It wasn't it wasn't divided. It was just equals. Equals, yes. Yeah. Uh, um, what about times? A layer? Does that do anything? No, it's just dark. The, the divisions on top, I think you're talking about, Alicia, on line 92. Let's, um, yeah, that's the one that I was talking yeah. about. I thought that that's what you meant. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's see. 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 let us Maybe it's too wide on this page. I see little, little, what is it like, pixels now. Like really? this, this, this effect of um, pixelization. Let me, I'm gonna put this up. Let me look at the toy. What do you see? Um, oh, no. It's too something. I thought if I increase this. Let's do like, uh, let's Maybe get. Just night camera. Mm, this is like new color. Mm. And let's play with this. I'm not sure if it has to do. Ah, maybe. Let's see. Oh, hello to Bruce Lane. Hi, welcome. Yes. Hello. Maybe we multiply here by a different number. Did we, maybe we put too much code in at the same time. Sometimes I uh, do that and then it doesn't work the way I want it to. But it's yes, working in a way, it's test. like rendering the, the webcam at least. No, no, I know, but I mean like to be able to find our own way. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes I just like paste it all in and I'm like, wait a minute. Let me rewind. Um, mm, let's see. Now it's the last one. Yeah, for me too. Um. I'm not sure why it's all black. Come on. Let's fill in some color. And it, there must be a um, error. Um, there's, there's a console you can check. but Yeah, yeah, there's a console what? over there. On the there's bottom there. left hand side underneath. Okay. Like, and okay. I can see, I can tell you. Okay, yes, it. there is a. Uh, there are actually several errors. WebGL safe. Don't use render targets as textures. Use no. their texture property instead. No, that shouldn't be. No, this is the one problem. Okay, that makes sense. My husband. I'm not sure even why we are. Ooh. Oh, there, 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 there it is. Now it's working Unread. something. Yes. Whoa! Unread. Yeah. It was because I'm using I was using the effect of in text like the when we did the diff in the in the copy shader and it let. 
Well, thank you for showing me the concept. Okay, we are <laughs> diffusing but, but where, in a red. <laughs> hold on a second. Where are you to see what you fixed? Yeah, what was the problem? Yes. I didn't follow the that. The problem was in the first shader in the previous one when I explained ah, the, copy the, one? the copy one. Yes, I put the index two just to make ah, a, an yeah. example of showing how it is different. And then I left that <laughs> and I just commented and it was like, no, it's not working because it doesn't exist. But yes, That's like funny. right now, it's this is our diffusion system. So we are diffusing and we are reddish because we are setting the red channel, like the diffuse one. It's bigger, it's a bigger number. Like if we just put a smaller number. Now I'm normal-ish, I guess. I normal-ish, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you have, you're like, like a little, and if you like increment a lot the blue, you will be like super blueish. So the diffusion tree is the the B the the one is R G B and the four. Before I put it for the because we have like the the cardinals like the, mm -hmm. the these directions and then they have the, the the axis. Like for this, I decided to to show this the different diffusion rates according to the channel. And for the other one, I just put like yeah, this is how you weight the neighbors like the pixels. It's your decision. That, so you can play with one number, with several numbers. Um, what would be nice is to like to control a little bit. Here I added this. Also, you can wait like the current color. You can wait it like with a value. Like if we put negative one or a negative one. Mm -hmm. Like you can put any number. Yes. Well, did it do anything? It didn't do anything, or? I think I didn't do anything. I don't see any difference. No. No, I can't see it either. Ah, because we are clamping it? I think so. Maybe. Ah, no, but I'm coming to that. Comment. What happened if you do, can you do like a smaller number in the deficiency? Oh, it's kind of like, I like that hue. Ooh. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can do it pink. <laughs> so if I... <laughs> If I uncomment the thing we were looking at before, what happens? Let's see. Does it do anything? And also, I will go back to the set of the. So, are we having a word? I'm on line 97. I think yeah, I like that. Some. It's like a heat. Heat. Yeah, Ooh, I really like that. I put a sign on the I don't know if it's doing anything, but I yeah. I wanted to get it to come back, but it's kind of following me. That's no, it's is it following? Yeah, it's yeah. following a bit. Very Ooh, slowly. I like it. It's following. Slowly. That's so cool. And well, another thing, the buffering the frames like this. Is, if you want to make it slower, you could change it from the three JS side when you when you said like how many frames do you want? Uh, how many frames? until you uh, save that frame into the buffer and you can order. control that yes uh, so i have to go into the the renderer the function render, yes. and then instead of one in the loop right yes I so change. I okay. oh interesting it only hand. follows my head it doesn't follow my hand i put a very big <laughs> number now okay, I ah think, now it's very okay. slow or Yes. Or, yeah, maybe, it's not maybe, so bubbly. Anyway, the, the one that is controlling that the steps is the if on top. Like here, if you put the report. Ah, okay. I thought it was the loop here. Yes, this, this the loop are like um, how many matter. times do you want to apply the shaders? Because each time that you are uh, using that function, like render set, uh, render target. You are applying like the you are stamping with the fragment shader. Okay. So there we should be slower. I know. And another way uh, of slowing slowing things uh, is uh, when we are mixing because in, in the last step I'm mixing like a webcam a capture with previous with the new color that we are giving to the pixel. Mm -hmm. So if we put a, a, a small number we will be having more information of the new color and less about the webcam cake capture. Oh, no, there's no on, on line 101. 
What about, and then you add a smooth step here. Let's see. Oh, I love this. Interesting though, that it like only, it's funny the effect happens only around my face, not my, not my arm. And in my camera, and it think, happens in my and clothes, also, in the wall. Yeah, like I have mm -hmm. my, my, my mantle, it works too. And my face, is it, is it picking up the darker tones, I guess? I have no idea. Yeah, no. If we, I, I, I know that if we multiply it here, uh, like the webcam capture with a quick mm. then it will Ooh. intensify. Yay, my colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank yes. you. And, and you can also, yes, and oh, ah, yes, we love it. I was reading the console, like it has lots of errors, but the things are updating, so I'm confused. <laughs> no, there's warnings, but I think it's okay. Okay. If I clear, maybe it was clear, a, I don't... maybe clear the console because sometimes the if you don't clear yeah. it, you can still see the older um, stuff. Uh, yes. So oh, uh, look, the... look at the nose. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull your nose, it's funny. Like, um... like the mouth. Okay. So so now what's like for exploring like different rates of diffusion and other stuff. Uh, I love it. I love the effect when the screen refreshes and it like goes right by. Slowly back. goes, yes. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yes, also I think that if we put like a, a bigger number of the mixing. Mm -hmm. What if I minus it? Well, it you know vertical. what I like to do in the mix? Actually, how did you call your... Oh, it does nothing. Mixing, you call it... Can I, I'm gonna tweak for a second the, the fine Anyway, color. let me put back the plus so that you can have your colors. I really like this color. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I was trying uh, uh, one thing we can play also is with the, with the, how we define the neighborhood. Like now, right now we were giving like steps of one uh, size pixel. I was gonna say, isn't but, the JavaScript, no, that part? No, that part is from here because all oh. the information regarding to pixels is shader information. Got it. Uh, information about, uh, Frames and general uniform values are from the CJS context. Okay. So uh, in line 59, there you have uh, the step size of the pixel. Cool. So if you put like, uh, yes. Wasn't there um, a for loop though yeah. in the JavaScript that you were saying where you had modulo one? Yeah, that's what yes, that, that's like the, like the this I, I, I put like very big steps. Uh, that is for defining like the buffering, like when oh, right. when so you are yeah. storing the frame to the right. box. Okay. Yes. Uh, and if you put like a very little one, then we run a visit for making it. <laughs> uh, and something that you can do with the diffusion rates that I that you can also play with a function of that you like a lot, like oscillators, you can mm. oscillate the day. Right? Uh, the, you can add like dependent on time and Oh, I have to be closer to the microphone. I think I was too far. Like I did. Are people having trouble hearing you? Yeah, computational mama said, but probably because sometimes I was like getting too far away. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to stay like a little bit close when I was talking. This uh, cool. So cool. Okay, so wait, what were you saying? You were saying um, oscillator. <laughs> Yes, that we can add oscillators, like uh, like when we define the colors of, of the pixel, we can add uh, oscillators on the diffusions. Uh, do we have weights. time or here? As a How do we do that? Yes. yes. Oh, cool. Because I wanted to play with that one in here too, to see what happens. In the you can add time to uh, everywhere, like to yeah, the side yeah. steps, to the diffusion rates. Um, uh, that's, that's very... Best. Oh, that's super <laughs> niche. I don't know what happened, but that's, that's, it's me. That's it's me. Of... I'm in line 101, uh, trying to apply that's... some time, and it was making it glitch a lot. Yes, uh, that's. I like it anyway. Yes, because this is mixing. But also, uh, one thing I I, I I didn't mention, but on line 97, what I'm doing is playing with the new color. Like, how can I interpret it, that value? Now we can see another way. Uh, that this is eventually how we are defining our rules of the of the neighbor. So I generally multiply. This is how I think. I generally multiply to to increase uh, contrast, 
eh, a, the webcam can capture a uh, multiply by a, by a big number will make the the webcam capture seenable <laughs> or you can see, see. Mm -hmm. and also one thing you can do is like extracting from the new color like some channels and play with those that is eventually another technique um, mm -hmm. but let me so for example here in the new color where instead of 20 if we put for example just one or two it's gonna be less of it right so, or not it might be yes but i don't know why it's black <laughs> yeah because i was uh, I, I wanted to see what happened with a, s a small number in the web capture but it disappears like if i was also no. I was changing the number in smooth step i was playing with the number as well ah okay so we did it at the same time so <laughs> i don't know now which one okay now it's a bug it's back again <laughs> a bug why no it is back back the like, webcam i was okay. with my black screen oh. i like this um i will let me copy this example because Where are you? So Right now, I'm, I'm watching some scripts I had. <laughs> ah, okay. I thought you were like <laughs> something. Okay. But, but to play with this do... idea of, okay, okay, what we did until now is we have defined from the neighborhoods like the, the new color that we would be defining. And now with that information, we want to play a little bit uh, to kind of set up some roots of the behavior of the new color. So what I wrote in line 94 and 95 are I will extract the R value and the and the P value because I think they're good <laughs> and uh, playing with that for then rendering the color. So um, mm -hmm. this is something I let me just copy and paste this and now we can keep on playing. Um, sorry about by my copy and pasting, but I sleep very little. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, and I think that if I explain code, I will. Uh, okay. I think it's tricky to, to write all of this live while talking about it. Yeah, because it's a lot so as well. It's copy not paste like it's totally fine. Small chunks I, of I, code. I really want to like uh, transmit ideas, like, yeah. or why why I did this, or what is a bit consistent, or where can you play, or uh, that, that and that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what. Well, this is the bad thing about copy. <laughs> it's not very striking. Okay, because I put A and B, and I put R and B, so this would be like red and blue. Oh. And... Oh, yeah, now it's like kind of like the glitter thing. Yeah, this a is the glitter. Coming, it's, it's a coming. little bit, yes. Maybe we should increase the mixing because here I Where used. Are we increasing the mix out here in on yeah, line 107? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I Even feel like more. I'm on a, Even like more. I'm on a party. <laughs> yes. Anyway, it's still super glitchy. So we can play with these values, with, with these um, numbers. And um, I'm using the HSP to write to the function. That's awesome, Shara. Explain just how to use it. <laughs> uh, oh, it has to be smaller. There. Ooh. I'm seeing. Do we have glitter? Yeah, so it glitters from the beginning and then it goes away. But I think I just. Yeah. No, for me, it's it. all the time. It's yeah. all the time. But I think it's you small. Have enough. It's small, like in my hair, I see it. Yeah. And then. Oh, oh now I okay. see it. More. Maybe and now it's more. very flashy. Oh, it's oh. the kind okay, of. Okay, like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this flashiness uh, is because I'm doing bad the. Uh, well, I'm not doing that. I'm doing differently the way that we are storing the, the frame. Like I am uh, rendering one step more for buffering uh, the, the scene. Do you get okay. it? Uh, so it's like like uh, flashy. Yeah. And can we make it less flashy? You don't like yes. the flashy? Is it so flashy for you? Yeah, it's like this making one? me dizzy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not so. Let's do it less flashy. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. yeah, for me it's very subtle. Oh no, for me. But I have less of it. You have a lot. I have less of it. I think yeah. I just looked at the Twitch. <laughs> Your whole yeah. universe is Twitch. That's, that's why I'm like super dizzy. <laughs> no, <laughs> like 
like a little corners. Oh, I love it. Oh, this, this is, is beautiful. much better. This is more. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, what I did, the way I fix it. Where, is did, where are the, you? In which line? Did you I'm in it? the JavaScript uh, uh, okay. moment. Ah, okay. That oh, eventually I, I repeated the code, but it's, uh, we can put here, I will put in the. She's in line 136, Alicia. Yes, 136, if you change yeah, it for two, fine. we are doing that twice. I will take out. So. Ah, okay. And before it was one? Okay. Before it was one, yes. Okay. And the thing of this is that this was my bug uh, that I discovered. That if you, like, what we are doing when we are, apply, we are applying a, a shader once more for, mm -hmm. for buffering the frame. Uh, so it, you should be just aware of that. Like, it's okay if, if you have it, but you should be aware of that. Mm -hmm. uh, because I really want to transmit this that you can define or you can compute the, the, the general system, like the uh, 100 frames, what, however you want to. Sorry, I was just playing with the for loop a little bit. Yeah, I did that before, but nothing happened really because I increased it to 10 and nothing really happened. I, I, think, like I think that it depends on the, on, because we were in the more experimental decision part. Oh, okay. <laughs> like right now, but what now we are really doing nice is... Because it's not like so glitchy. It's like slowly glitching without yeah. being on my face, you know, because before it was like a freaking i don't know making it shine <laughs> it's like, but the colors are awesome. it's like an oil slick i feel like i'm in a move uh, like an animated zine right now it's amazing what i find curious about this is that my face is not glitter so it looks like i have this costume yeah, like this wig of outline <laughs> yeah. yeah that that i think it's because if i put like this you should be if you increment the number that is multiplying the webcam capture online a hundred it's less. Oh, no. Oh, for me, it's it's, I think it's the opposite. For me, yeah, for me, it's the opposite. It's if you put yes, a, a smaller number, it's more. Yeah. yeah. Are you back in the shader right now, Sol? Yeah. Hey, yes. yes. Yeah, sure. Sorry. It changed. What cool. happens if you put five, like even less? So we have mm -hmm. more. I guess. Let's see. There's only one way to see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a uh, little bit more. Oh. Cool. What about this number at the front? And at the, at the beginning, way. it's, oh, OK, OK, I, I'm starting to, to see more like Italy. Yeah, so. yeah. <clears throat> mm. And oh, maybe by, by like, the whole room now. We, <laughs> <laughs> if we do the melting walls. Oh, wow. Less. Yours is so intense, Alita. For me, it's not that intense. That's crazy. No? OK, I like that. I no, think. for me, it's very, it's for just me. my outline of my face. But I think you have more things in your, it, I think it depends how far away objects are in your space. So I have cool. no idea. I think it's as well, like, because I have two, like my monitor and my computer. And in my computer, I have retina. And in here, I have like normal, like non retina. But in both of them, I see the same amount of glitter. Uh, I, just, I love the color scheme. Maybe it's the light too, like depending how much light we have, right? Mm -hmm. so. Yes, completely. Because yeah. for <laughs> that, me, it's a little the... bit dark where I am, I feel. So. Yes, maybe. Awesome. Uh, but we can implement that. We can add more more brightness to like the new colors here. Maybe this is a lot. I like that at the, at the beginning, it's like taking, I don't know. And yeah. just yeah, I, I, I implemented the <laughs> the brightness, but in the yeah. I like that it's slow. So you know, if I move my hands, they stay. Yeah, it's like I'm painting the screen. <laughs> and if you kind of well, if you increment like the Ooh. amount of what capture. Okay. Oh, now it's less. Now and now I'm back to almost normal. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but these are all values to play with. Uh, yes, I didn't want to interrupt. Sorry. No, 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 no. no. I, keep, I was just like playing with the effect while you're changing stuff. What if I'm gonna swap just because I like to see what happens when you put in? Let me see if something weird happens. Just swapping a sign for a tan. Nothing. Nothing, nothing happened, that different. Huh? It's not so different. No. Interesting. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Do you see a difference? 
Yeah, Whoa, I think the computer yes. goes out and then it comes back. I don't see right? there's, there's, I think that there's, anyway, Mine's I'm also yeah. super, super uh, dark. Maybe we can implement Yeah, here. it's very dark. I know, I have an idea for implementing. Maybe we can wait. Ah, now I see like, it. Okay, now it's dark. Okay. That's the tan, right? That's the, because it goes up and disappears and comes back. Uh, okay. if we do, sorry, maybe you see something very glitchy. I'm not sure what is going to happen. I know. That's what we love, though. <laughs> it's like, mm. I also oh, Sean is here. Hello, Sean. Another person mm. came in. Yay! Welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome. Oh, I like this effect. Ooh, is this the? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make uh, a to bring light into. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure why I'm so Yeah, now it's, now it's much darker. I don't know what happened. Mm, and it's, it's almost close to reality, this one. It's not as really? glittery as it. Yeah, for me it's... it's oh, because... I see it very pink for me. That's so funny. Oh, no, no. Because I increment a lot the value, the weight of the current pixel. So it's like a lot of information being preserved. What about... That is in line 74. <clears throat> no. Inside, it's like greenish. I added some power to the blue. I multiplied it by two. Let's see if I multiply by ten. Because it's very green and mm -hmm. brown for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very brown. Okay, okay, that's something. <laughs> Let me turn off. I, I like that. No, I like it. We are all. We should be all be jamming and playing with values and. <laughs> Until we get to something that we love. <laughs> then I'm gonna try as well to increase this one. Let's see. The red one. We don't. Ha I was looking at the top of this shader earlier and I realized we don't have like UVs. Yeah, I, I was looking hey. for it before, but. I wanted, wanted to do something with. I always like uh, to put UVs in and see what I, ca I call it pixel, but. but it's oh, the, the DX and the DY, isn't it? No, no, the pixel is the. Uh, I'm uh, using, the, I think, oh, wait, the. Oh, it's too, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That okay. I'm using the vertex oh. shader for, uh, for that information. Um, let's yeah, see why what I'm so if you the pixel X. I, that's what I just did, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We oh, lost completely one. the camera. Interesting. Ah, it's in one side. Okay. Yeah, of course. It makes sense. Or otherwise, it would go from top to bottom. Yeah, yeah, from bottom to top. I kind of like that though. It's an interesting way to like divide up a camera or divide up a space, like a gradient almost, mm -hmm. as you bleed your image out into. <clears throat> but somehow I prefer when everything is glitter. <laughs> yeah, in this, in this space, or the Definitely. effect, yeah, in the whole screen. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's going on. Ne no, maybe we can be like um, metalized <laughs> because uh, maybe the, the steps uh, like metal. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> was playing with oh, that. I mean, we have oh, an ongoing metal. quest to do iridescent <laughs> shiny things, so the more it's metal. a little bit in my hair. I see a little bit of iridescent here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A little bit. Just a little bit nervous. <laughs> what, what if we revert them? Oh, I'm just gone. wondering. Maybe oh, bye. Bye, XOXO modular. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. You you kind of see yourself dark or it's dark. Yeah, it's like this like faded pastel blue mm -hmm. for me. That's Maybe like for me it's no it's brown. <clears throat> for me, I think it no has to do color. with the diffuse called the uh, like it's very it's brown for me. Maybe I'll put it back to sign and see if that changes. It then. was Is it this new color, the tent that's maybe too high? Wasn't it like point yeah, two? Yeah, I tried to remember because it was more sparkly for me before. Ooh, I like that though. What's happening at the bottom of the screen there? That's fun. Yeah, it went away. So but I guess it was not that. But it's like, it's like um, you know those old photos when the light bleeds in? Yes. 
there's that vibe with it like yeah and actually throw back to your course uh saw the hyperlink mm -hmm. course it's like when you were displacing yes. the pixels and the thingy what was that called again the um, the polyglot no the yes polyglot is emoji Ah, yeah, the, and the, 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 the rows, yeah. Yes, yes, we are defining by the pixels. Yes, I, I learned a lot about the GPEG, GPEG. <laughs> yeah, GPEG, uh, yeah. And <laughs> uh, operation format, it's awesome. And it's all about frequencies. I'm also obsessed with the that PDF that you linked uh, from the 70s. Ah, yes, um, which one? Tools of Thought of the, or, or the other one? Computer Lib? Computer, uh, computer Lib, yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, I, that's, have that's awesome. I love digging through it. It's so fun to read. Yes, it's like the Bible of the of the internet. <laughs> yes, I really I think it's very interesting to, to think uh, in that way, uh, like understanding how computer works uh, would enable us to, yeah. to play with that. And I like too that the guy was like basically that he thought everyone should understand it and that it was understandable and that it shouldn't be this like thing. Yes. That, are afraid of. Well, the other day I was talking with my sister and I came with this, like, we are computer literates, like, the, of, of the internet, because yeah. I created, a, well, maybe I can share it also, um, um, a tool for making a remote visuals, like this idea of buffering, I'm buffering a lot of stuff, and I wanted to use a, a protocol that it's called RTP, Web RTP, okay. uh, because, like, my computer was uh, broken and uh, I needed like to optimize resources, <laughs> and I built this tool that enabled me to perform abroad uh, in the world. And it's so cool to do that. <laughs> Is it online? It's, it's online, online, but it's not. I can share with you. It's like the the pre. It's like pre alpha. <laughs> pre 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 pre, pre <laughs> alpha. <laughs> I just added a little function to to test that it worked, and uh, can I share it in the in the chat with people? Not now. Maybe in a in a future I will. But oh, uh, she'll like, tweet it when it's ready, guys. She'll tweet it out when it's ready. Yes, I, I will tweet it. Like right now, it's working, but I was having that problem that I don't know. But with certain IPs, it didn't work, and with certain yes, so I would try it with different parts of the world, and it was working, and then it stopped working, and I was like, I don't understand how servers work. <laughs> mm. By the way, the glitter effect died for me. Oh, oh no. no. I think it's there. I think it's just washed out. Like, I think because it's, it's, um, I think because we're getting washed out colors, we don't see the glitter as much. Let's, uh, let's go for glitter. Yeah. Let's go for glitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 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 And we're, and we're back. back. Uh, yeah. yeah. What did you do to put it back? I increment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, ah, I don't know if I put it down, I you yes. Yes, because I tried here that the thing in hue, enough. saturation, and, and brightness, so yeah. uh, maybe, but this is incrementing like the, con the concave effect, mm. maybe the, the smooth step, um, like if you play around with these values, it would be like more stable, stable is that good? Mm. Yeah, because yeah, when okay, I was so making it like out. really high, it's if super I interesting. 10, then it, I felt like I kill it if I put like a very high number. Yeah, so I kill it. So it ha it doesn't have to be over one, right? But so even this, this could yeah. be smaller. Yeah, it gets. Yeah. To, it's like a, yeah. a wave coming down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the, that way that it's coming down from the beginning. Is because we are uh, altering the the frames at the beginning, like we put a big number. So it's like it's until it goes to the to the webcam and the system. Uh, I love it. It's so cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's I go really for like glitter. It because now it's passed up. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it though. There's like this fun, like, it almost feels like, yeah, noise a little bit. Um, maybe um, maybe if, if we put mm -hmm. five and then same, I assume that. Okay, this is pastel glitter. This makes me very happy. It's gonna... This is glitching. This is punchy, punchy. <laughs> Which PDF good. paper is the one we're talking about? Oh, Mario, let me see if I can dig that up for you. I have Saul's slide hey. hidden away yes. on it. Let me, I'll get it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll go grab it in my 
I have it not far. Um, okay. It's awesome. You guys are going to be super happy, I think, when I find it. Um, drive. And, and tools I can share is the steganography tool. That works oh, very yeah. good. Yes, uh, I can I can share with that. Uh, oh, no, uh, now I feel like oh. a gif. <laughs> 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 I tried to animate it a bit. Cool. Let's see. Okay, hyperlink, digital alchemy session one. I think it was. Yes. Yeah. Uh, was it? Or um, I think it's in session one. Let me see. Yeah, it is. It's the dream machines. Yes, dream machines, computer leave, Ted Nelson, everything comes to my mind. <laughs> like, is that one thing? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. 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 I will, I will decrease a little bit the amount of, of frames because I want to go to glitter now. Um, yeah. yeah, I like this anyway. I like that not some parts are black that I really like, like pastel plus black. This, uh, oh, anything, uh, anyway, something I really enjoy, it's like playing with this, the diffusion systems, like, mm -hmm. uh, it depends with the camera, that the camera is, uh, is uh, uh, alternate, external <laughs> input. <laughs> I, I'm having like a lot of trouble of translating my mind into English ah. lately, sorry. <laughs> like, I'm thinking the words in... <laughs> But your course, I, I, the course that you're giving is in English, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I, I speak English frequently, but my my head is like mixed of languages. It's a huge big mix of languages. Uh, so sometimes <laughs> when I'm tired, like today, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, it's like that everything starts, and I and I think words in Spanish. I want to translate them, and I don't find the word, so I, yeah. I start describing the word. Like you should know it. <laughs> yeah, that I understand. When I'm tired, it's harder to speak another language. Uh, and it's... Okay, and what I was saying is that it's super interesting that it depends on, on the day, or on the lights, and on, on, on a lot of stuff that uh, how your, your system behaves. And mm -hmm. also, uh, if you don't want to be like super random experimental, like, mm -hmm. but uh, you might want to like set some rules and be more specific, like I'm using the previous buffer because I want to, you just we, we can use the Conway scheme of life or cellular automata rules, or even maybe I can look for my reaction diffusion and try to see if something of that works. But I really like this idea of how I think of, of these problems that it's like, okay, I'm defining the new color and with this new information that I, that depends on how I weighted the neighbors of my pixel, I, I am like playing with functions. So, I am increasing contrast, I'm adding brightness, I'm, I'm then clipping it to, to, to bound it from zero to one. Then I'm using the HSV to RGB function, like to, if I want to have this palette of like iridescent, it's not iridescent, mm -hmm. but for glitter, I use it, I use that. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe to reduce this, um, the size of the steps are also very. The what? The, the size of the delta x and delta y ah, okay. that I that I define. If you multiply by a by a value, I may I may call it the step size. I think that we are getting to a glitter. Oh, I see glitter since like before. Already, I don't know if you don't see it or not as much as you wanted. I guess. <laughs> I think I know, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm very dark. I will turn on my It's light. dark for you? <laughs> it's not dark, but my apartment is quite... Light. Like, this camera is good, but the other camera, I think that it's the uh, dark side of my room. <laughs> it's like... Okay, that's... There, yeah, there we have a glitter. Do you yeah. see it? Or yeah, I'm seeing it on my it's, own. It's coming and going. Oh, I really like it. I, I love like my keyboard. It's like black, purple, and oh, if I touch it, it gets blacker. Oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> and if I let it go, is it gonna come back? Come back, come back, come back. And maybe if. Oh, wait a second. There is some. It's getting like darker and darker and darker. There might be a function that is. I think it's. Uh, I love it. 
Okay, guys, I'm posting in the chat a link to an MIT archive, and you can download the yeah, cool. thing as a PDF. I find it easier to read as a PDF, but you can also read it in browser, and it's I put it in the awesome. screen so people can see it. I... So you can download as a PDF, you said? Yeah, if you like scroll down the page, there's a little spot where you can download it as a bunch of different um, formats. Where is and it? Oh, it's here. So I just fun. wanted to show the people. Yeah, here is the PDF. I'm gonna download as well. It's 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 a big document. Like it's not like a quick read, but it's like a super fun read. And it's crazy to think that it was written in the 70s to me. Yes, it's, it's so super so crazy. Pertinent. Yeah, it's so. Pertinent. Yes, and and it's something I I it's How did like you land it form. in this paper? I have no idea. Like my life is <laughs> no. Uh, I think. I don't know how I ended. Like I, I read also a, a philosopher that it's called Ivan Illich, Ivan Illich, that he has this notion of conviviality and convivial tools, like create from tools or technology your own uh, your own world. Um, and I think that I started like going through through those oh, com is. communities that were in, in aligned to that and. Um, also, I'm super exploring these alternative ways of learning. I really love them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Like Hyperlink Academy and mm -hmm. Recure Center is another. That it's work. It works. Like you don't have the hierarchy uh, mm -hmm. of maybe academia or uh, stuff like that, and you do what you learn. And I really think that it's my way of learning. Like when I started computing, like uh, fractals also are a kind of a feedback system because you are using the, the same formula and you are iterating over, over mm -hmm. it, you're composing over that formula. Uh, and I really understood how this worked with, uh, with when, when I computed it. So, mm. like making math with computers is awesome. <laughs> I, I love that you have a math, math background though, because I feel like mm. the creative parts of 3D graphics must feel so intuitive. You. or like it's just Anything. easier to... I think in general uh, I, I have the feeling that the people that know uh, like a, a lot of math they pick up code like this like no matter which language the uh, I mean the more feeling. I spend time the learning developers the that I've encountered like, wow, in jobs okay, that have a math degree or something maybe they had like a year experience programming and their level of like JavaScript is crazy like the, and the complexity of stuff that they can as well um code for a problem is as well insane <laughs> that's my experience with people that is very like sad I, I really think that there's a phrase i think from von Neumann that he said that uh, you once like get used to math's definition and you kind of lose, lose intuition so what i did with compute uh, with computation uh, or computing stuff is like doing doing math I'm doing math, like yeah. I'm gaining intuition. Like I studied lots of linear algebra or stuff like that that were like, I, I remember that I said that I don't even understand what the dot product is until I got to Ray Martin and it was like, yeah. ah! <laughs> yes, yeah. I can do a physics simulation of everything and it's okay and I understand and it's, a, and it's how you measure. And then I, uh, all the stuff that, I, many of the stuff I learned, uh, I started like, uh, giving it like sense in a way. Yeah. Uh, like vectorial fields, and also thinking into like vectorial things, feels for me the, the easiest way to think it instead of saying like a vectorial field. It's a river, <laughs> like a, a flowing river, like nature. Totally. Like, totally. <laughs> um, totally. And well, another thing that maybe I can talk, but it's not, I don't know what I touched that now it's super dark. Something it's oscillating and it's making things darker. Can I, by the way, uh, do you, do you want me? I was scrolling the paper for the people to check it out. And yes. it's very interesting that it has a lot of comics. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Curious. That's so yes. much comics. It's so interesting to read. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of, yeah, I find that diagrams really helpful. Cool. I love yeah. it. I think it's like the, the 70s version of like what an instruct uh, instructional GIF would have been, you know, <laughs> or mm -hmm. like a meme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Sal, can I share the steganography uh, link? Yes, please yeah. share, share. That is a, a, a tool also I created for uh, the for the workshop, but for the course. And the <laughs> steganography, it's using an algorithm that is of encryption that it's called LSV, uh, that you use like 
imagine that in, in, for each pixel you have like 30 bits and the 30 b are eight bits each one so half of the bits of those eight bits you are storing one image and on the other you are storing another image so and this is how we go is is in here in this example because i put it now in the screen so people can see it uh, for, for using it you just add a bit the, the image you want to be visible and then you add the one that you want to hide so you will be hiding one image inside the other one but the default so image when, that appears, is it like an object or is it just like created of what? Like when the page it loads. Is, when the page follow. loads, you know? Ah, these, these, are, these are some photos that are mine that uh, are oh. uh, burned out. Like I digitalized some uh, analytic photos and it was like that. And I put it just like an example. Oh, okay. But then uh, like for, for the first rendering, because this is all implemented in DJS and for the LSB algorithm, I used a... Um, uh, a shader, <laughs> mm. I, and and it's all using bitwise operators because shaders are like written in C. I don't know if you've heard about C, so you can use C structures like to use them over there. And the cool stuff of this is like, when you are encoding one image inside the other one, you can play it with the sliders and you see like okay, how many bits I want to, <laughs> and you can just see and see how uh, alters the final image like. Mm -hmm if you are like uh, using half of the bits for storing another image or using more bits or less bits like mm -hmm. if you want i can do a quick thing to, to, yeah. to explain i was i just looked at the chat and and sean lejean renard found the the shout out to the eliza program on page 18 of that of dream machine do you know yeah, i saw it yeah, I so saw cool. it and I put it on, but I I didn't want it to interrupt. Oh, but okay. I saw, Sorry. I, <laughs> I saw your. I name. share it. Please share it. Uh, I don't remember which page was, but it 18. was somewhere in there. Page eighteen, and also Massimo, don't learn to code, but code yeah. to learn. Ah, yes, yeah. that Elisa absolutely. Elisa will see you now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Elisa. Um, <laughs> Elisa. Yeah. Hey, either way, works. I say your name in Spanish. In Spanish, it would be Elisa. <laughs> yeah, it's the same in French. Elisa. Oh, yeah. Um, ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And Salt so Mario loves your energy. Mm -hmm. And he put a little. <laughs> you. so you're like a ray, a ray of sunshine. <laughs> I, I, I have my red hair. <laughs> my rays are red. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. I feel today a little bit tired, but I, I like that. Uh, like, I get uh, energy from people getting good energy. And it's like, yes. <laughs> it's like a, a, a system of feedback, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Everything, everything is feedback. Like, like that's something that happens to me when I started, like, well, my obsession with patterns, like, this uh, feedback studies is for creating patterns. I oh also created yeah. another tool. I love patterns. That, yes. <laughs> And it's like solid, solid the mountain. Like oh, patterns. When I start seeing maths everywhere, and it's like oh. okay, something. The, the years I started math means something in my mind. Okay, this no, I totally. created mm -hmm. uh, with a. Oops. Are you back in the code? A friend of mine. No, I need this chat. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You can. Do you want me to paste that to the Twitch chat? Yes, please uh, share it because I close the chat. So no, 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 don't worry. I'm I'm managing it. It's just so that Alicia doesn't have to open the chat because has... uh, I will put yes. them on the screen. I put this one on the screen now so people can see. Yes, that's a. Um, this is like a noise AI? experiment. Ooh. No, this is also with a camera. So maybe you, you if you don't have a third camera, <laughs> you, oh, will, you will okay. be seeing everything legit, but. Uh, the idea is using uh, AI neural cellular automata. Okay. Uh, that if you oh, click oh, on wow. the. Wow! Oh, I was yeah. going to ask you if you. This is GAN, no? Uh, this, I'm not sure. No, it's not. But we can, we can go. I created with, with some friends, uh, uh, when I'm here, that are my, my like, coding friends. And Mati, one of, uh, of the. <laughs> creating a collab so you can upload any image and you can train uh, a model on i don't know a uh, cloud so okay you can oh, you yes. can uh, yes. yeah it reminds me a lot of, of of all of the gan stuff that's so cool yeah it's a thing like um well this a uh, way of of, uh, of, yeah. of of cellular automatas a uh, continuous cellular automatas it's a uh, using a uh, work of Yay! All the resources of the, of the digital of the digital community that they're awesome. Cool. Uh, Did you prepare all of I, this material for your workshop? 
or this was Sometimes, pre workshop? No, this of the uh, I I don't know why we created this of one pattern. Ah, yes, I know because when I started studying patterns and playing with this feedback mm -hmm. system and making my own explorations. I came to realize that sometimes it didn't matter at all, uh, like your initial state that defines behavior, because I used different models, like gray Scott models and other models, and I merged it into the same pattern. So I was like, wait a moment. <laughs> There must be like a general structure that it's uh, like a general structure for defining the pattern. Um, and I, I was thinking a lot of about uh, neural networks and AI and stuff, but I didn't implement anything. And this year, uh, the history community published this paper and was amazing and was awesome. I was like, oh my God, I should do the same stuff. That, like my, I didn't share with you my reaction diffusion. Mm -hmm. This is what like my piece of... <laughs> it's, it's fun when everything kind of like overlaps in, in your brain like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, put on the screen the last link, which is a... Uh, it's a research. collab. It's, it's going to... That's a collab that you can access from the, from the tool. Yeah. yeah. We can actually, like, run it right in there. Yeah, so nice. Cool. It has a lot of information, actually. Wow. Yeah, it's well commented, and then you can run the cells and, like, kind of experiment. If you do, Have you played with um, notebooks before, Alicia? No, not at all. Okay, so like this runs Python, um, and each cell you can either comment or include some code. Um, Which one? Mm. The one oh, that, the you have that you have. No, the one that you have open right now. There's yes. Ah, code okay. That's, yes, that's also my, my way of, of preparing classes for the digital alchemy. Like I'm, I'm gathering lots of information and having those cells for people who are not uh, familiar with programming, just run the cells and understand what's going on and know what where, where to edit and, and to customize. Like uh, one of the latest experiments of one awesome uh, student that is Rory, uh, he, he writes poetry and uses uh, like uh, not so many words and we were thinking of making sounds from text. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were, we were using like mapping letters to sounds mm -hmm. But then we have this idea of why don't we map words to sounds? If you you are using not so many letters for a poem, it it would sound good. And we made a code up for that, and it's super awesome that like I create an activity, but also uh, the customization of the activity because of the uses yeah. of people who attend. Uh, I love it. Uh, no, I love it. Cool. Collab is awesome. It's it's super awesome too. If you just want to poke around with some some. Um, uh python and like not install it necessarily depending on what system you're on um, yes also and and all like the linux if you're linux familiar with stuff yeah. everything you run there you can run it and i go and call it awesome. <laughs> awesome. yeah i've been using it to play with gan stuff a little bit um it's really handy plus mm -hmm. you can you can access like, google gives you computers you can you can run stuff on to train stuff. Oh, now I know what you mean. Because I, will, I I did a little bit of that course with Leah from the Coloma workshop, but I mm -hmm. only did like 40 minutes and then my internet broke and then I never like retook the workshop. And I remember she gave us a, a URL for Google, yeah. and she said that uh, normally it's better to use that because it uses so much power when you're generating yeah. the GAN. So it's better to go there. That's what you meant. Okay, now I'm starting to like, I have to revisit this, definitely. Yeah. I mean, there are lots of different types of notebooks. Before this, there was Jupyter Notebooks, but mm -hmm. yeah. No, Google Collab is great. Google Collab is great, yes. Yeah, you have a bunch um, of resources. Thank you. I look forward yes, to I don't know. I can everything. keep on. Like, <laughs> my mind is like, oh my god. You should also send me like, salt, come on, one thing at a time. No, always. Oh, 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 That's good. But I, I, I love, like, I really discovered a, a word that I love what I do, so I do it with all my I love it. Yeah. And, and the last link is that the, the my original uh, project for understanding feedback systems, that is the morphogenesis. The, the paper I mentioned about Turing, uh, that's like my final implementation oh, that you can use yeah. it with webcam and if, well, everything is with webcam. <laughs> I, I wanted to just. This is the thing. I wanted to explain why I ended up with one pattern, and I ended up like showing everything. But uh, yeah, oh, that's super oh, fun. Can I scroll? 
Oh, it takes so while to reload. You have to turn your camera on. No, no, no. I had that first too. You have to turn your camera on. It's basically a lot of what we did today, actually, the first part. Anyway. Yes. If the first part, the only thing is like then we are not only making diffusion, if not we are having a reaction. That is, um, you defined regarding, imagine that you have two substances that oh, they no, are diffusing at different rates, so they react and, uh, and like kill yeah. and feed the other ones, like yeah, uh, yeah. wins or not. Like you're defining the amount of, of those uh, pigments in each cell. That is what cool. you're doing. And, and you are in, if you are playing with those values, you kind of uh, define the behavior of the system that eventually can convert into a pattern that it like is wonderful. And sometimes that is more wonderful. They kind of uh, uh, oscillate in between mm -hmm. states, or they have a, a, a finite amount of states that they are going to. So they are having like a loop of states, and they're coming back, and they're. I had to close it because for me it was freezing my um, window. My no, yes, yes. Uh, I think that that, that requires a, a optimization. Uh, <laughs> that I, I was uh, studying like uh, WebAssembly and, and that stuff for optimizing my tools. Because okay. the other <laughs> yes. experiments were fine, but the other one froze for me. So I, yes, I it, that was away. required. <laughs> yes. um, but going back to our shader, I don't know if you want. Oh, hey, Leah. Yeah. Hi. People still oh, Leah, hi. Yeah, good Yay. to see you. Hello. She was on just a, was she our last game? No, no. Last, was Bruno? Last last like game. Like yeah. a month ago. Yeah, yeah. We had her as well here. Yay. She's nice really good you. with shaders, by the way. She's amazing, yeah. She's it's a super math whiz as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, now everything's pink for me. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's this oscillating. Dark it's, pink. it's oscillating a little bit glitchy. Yeah. For me, it's everything uh, like I'm going to reload. See. What are these numbers right now? Oh, For no, me, it's oscillating. But it's oscillating. Yeah, I had to reload. I had to reload, and then it's OK. If you reload, oh, yeah, Eliza, OK, yeah. Okay. I think my window is just closed for too long. Oh, this yeah, is awesome. mine too. So then it, it kind of makes sense. That's what I like sometimes about Such an early 90s vibe. This is amazing. Yeah. This is like a vapor, vapor wave ballet. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Because um, I could live yeah, forever it's, in the nineties. <laughs> yes. Well, the other day I found tremendous um, HTML borders of, of uh, mm -hmm. divs, and it's so nice. <laughs> so I was creating those cards in the HTML. Yeah. Um, the internet. Um, well, I think I talked a lot. Ask me questions, or we can talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, people, if you have questions, uh, go ahead and ask now. Yeah, because now we've been now here for time. two hours, actually. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. <laughs> but time flew. Honestly. Yeah, it really. <laughs> and I'm so inspired after listening to you, to all of this. Um, I mean, I'm currently trying to get back. I, I got a book on machine learning early this year. But um, then I was just busy with other stuff. And just now I'm retaking this book again, slowly to do stuff with TensorFlow and uh, this stuff with GANs, I want to revisit it again and learn more about it. So it's interesting as well, the stuff that you're doing with webcam feeds. Yes, well, I, well the thing I, I really was motivated on the, on the beginning of doing that is because it allows you to record your screen. Yeah. Uh, and, and recording your screen, you create another loop. It's like, in my mind, I want to create as much feedback loop, uh, as much loops I, I, I can inside yeah. a system. Uh, that's why also another project I there, uh, it's using the internet for having like several lines of the, of the system, of the feedback system. Like if you mm -hmm. imagine like a, a sequence of frames, you have several one, one yeah. running in each browser, so if you start altering and sending parameters, then the system depends on all the peers that are participating. So that's my approach is of always like from the simplest idea, start composing and growing in, level, in levels of hierarchy, but always from the same uh, agenda. <laughs> is that what you're working uh, on now? The, the... That's how you already made it. I, I think I'm going to give a, a workshop of one day in, in a place that is called Hack Lab. Uh, so I will also announce for it. who? But is that online? Yes, yes, it's from Croatia. I think it's oh, cool. yeah. 
I don't remember the name, but I sent some emails and, and I had to confirm that. Uh, if not, we can do like a jam session of Let's do, <laughs> I, I call it continuous leech because it's like a, a super big mm. feedback system that we will be like sending all parameters and, and understanding eventually how these protocols of peer-to-peer -peer yeah. works. Yeah. If you understand it, wait a minute, I'm seeing a change or you want to send information or receive information and bound that or decide which parameters you want to be affected or affect. Uh, like if you, if you get awareness of information flows, I was trying to do that. Yeah, I was trying to do that with a friend. We were trying to send OSC signals, like, but he lives down the street, and it, and we could do it if I was in his house on his server. But if we were on different servers, it like it would not work. It would. Oh, no, but I mean, I think it'd have to go in and hack my server. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I tried to open all the ports, but we couldn't get the signal to cross. So I was like, okay, I clearly don't fully understand how this is working. I need to look into it some more. But yeah. It was for Orca, so it was, we were trying to like create music somewhere in between. Oh, I love Orca. I love the creators of Orca. I really, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of a hundred rabbits. <laughs> Orca and Divine, oh, they're yeah. amazing. Living yeah. on a boat and they, they put out so much stuff so fast and it's always so beautiful what they make. Yeah, I discovered recently a, a text editor that is super nice, yeah. uh, left. It's, <laughs> it's a, uh, I use it a lot uh, and I, don't, I, I'm almost, I was going to say that I was also a big fan of Big Heart. Yeah. <laughs> I studied math like when I was 17. I was a super fan of, of yeah. Big Heart. I would say. I used to like her videos. Did she still uh, make it? I don't know. I used to watch a lot of them to try and understand stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she was my like main, main motivation for studying uh, math. Did you study at university? Yes, but I dropped at half of it and okay. I, I didn't end up because in Buenos Aires, the, the degrees are very long and I was like, I started because I wanted to go, to know about fractals and I, when I got to the point of studying fractals, the the first class was theory, theorem demonstration, theorem demonstration and yeah. I was like, wait, <laughs> are we going? And I was starting learning about computing uh, stuff and I remember I... I was with a paper and I told the professor that anyway, it's okay. I really admire people like doing super uh, theoretical stuff, but it's mm. not like working with me. Yeah. And I suggested like, why don't we learn something? Like, why don't we compute? And it was no, no, that, that's out of the scope of this course. Mm. It was right, but it was with a minute thought. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to just uh, copy definitions and copy proofs. On and, paper, and, no. You yes, want to see the fractal like, appear on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also because fractals like appeared because of computation. Like yeah. mm -hmm. you are approximating that with computers and it's super important part of, of like Mandelbrot <laughs> like needs the computer. It's not, it, it, it wasn't even. Um, so you like, switched careers at that point. Yes, and I started somewhere. making uh, uh, the, the computer program. And, so you studied computer science in the end? Yeah, I'm also uh, in the middle, so I'm, all, oh, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> yeah. I'm there, uh, yes. But uh, I have all the Are you still studying, background. by the way? Right, okay. I should, I am, but um, I'm not really sure. Oh, yes, okay. I, the other day I talked to a Sweden uh, guy that he was also, he, for him was similar the situation, but he studied physics, and he was saying, I didn't drop a, a science, I dropped academy, and it was, oh, I like that fair. phrase. <laughs> I was yeah. it. But anyway, I think that maybe I can have like a, I, I wanted to know if I can have like an intermediate degree, because I have like half of the licenciatura that it's the long yeah. degree, so maybe some university uh, recognize that. But uh, also, I don't know, like degrees. I, I have like love uh, hate for mm. for university. Uh, and, it's yeah. But, I think that if you have the knowledge and you can apply it, and you're interested and motivated, then you don't like unless you're going to be a doctor or like a scientist in a in a lab. Maybe you don't really. Mm -hmm. need, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah. I feel like degrees are good just for the fact that it teaches you to learn um, like for younger people for example I, I would always recommend to just choose something you you might not be sure that it's what you're gonna use but it's gonna help you to develop a lot of other skills like teamwork responsibility um, uh, how to organize yourself uh, 
then you get as well to be a student and meet other people <laughs> and yeah. so, so that, well those skills I, I learned a lot in while i was working at a software uh, company i learned a lot those yeah. skills. and even more than in, in university because in math was kind of a uh, solitary in a way so you were like on your own you were you were not like uh, thinking a uh, problem solving yeah. together yeah. and in in the job i got i got very good masters <laughs> that uh, eventually well my first project was in closure and i have a, a whole new way of uh, approaching problems and, and problem thinking and that's another um, book that i suggest on my work and my course that is tools of thought that is super mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. also oh. um, I wanted and... to ask you, do you, have you heard of the African Fractals, Modern Computing and Indigenous Design? No. Oh, you should check that out. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. I think you'll enjoy. It's all about um, how... Yeah, she likes fractals, probably. <laughs> yeah, but it's like their entire cities or, yeah, cities and village systems that were built based on, like, they basically look like fractals when you view them from above, but these people weren't using computers at all. It just like happened to be like the way that their brains conceived a system that would create a good kind of, I'm going to butcher this because I haven't read the whole book yet, but yeah, it was like a way to create community and passageways for people to like move around easily. And it was like literally fractals. I think you'll enjoy it. If you're into fractals, yeah, you yeah. enjoy it. I need to learn it. <laughs> everything that is, uh, I, I like it. Well, um, Yes. Oh, Char is leaving. Oh, bye, Char. Oh, thanks for being here, Char. Oh, you stay so long. I thought that she left actually before. <laughs> thanks for staying the whole time. Yeah. Very yeah, impressive. yeah. I'm always, I'm always excited when people like stay the whole. Yeah, because we, we do, we do long. stream for a long time. <laughs> um, yeah. Awesome. And yes, hey, hey, Tam Dragon. This is all GLSL inside of 3JS. So. Yeah. Well, it's a, a bit of both, a bit of JavaScript and, and, and GLSL. <clears throat> yes, I think that it, 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 what is nice also is like knowing, like recognizing what is shader side and what is 3 mm -hmm. side for for this system. Like mm -hmm. everything that depends on, that is for the pixel, shader. If you want to, to manage a context, uh, 3JS. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to because we've been going for two hours. So yeah. I don't want to keep it too long, Saul. Okay. So if we can keep going if you want, but I don't want to keep you all day. Do you um, want to say like? Some <laughs> if last you have words, any maybe? Like, last words. Last words. What What do you have coming up that we should? Know about? Yeah. Where, where can people like know when you do this workshop, for example? I, I start using Twitter and Twitter. Yeah. I'm very new. <laughs> like I've been like for two months or three months, but I, I start uh, using the social media for for broadcasting my work and my uh, my courses. So Twitter is okay. Uh, also Instagram, Instagram, I post lots of stories. You, you can see them. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, my web page is more for I, I like to explain what I learn and write about that. And I have like my digital garden, or it's more like that. And also you can send me emails because I love receiving emails and I'm working in projects together. <laughs> so I put your Twitter on screen now then so people can follow you. So you can, yes. you probably will tweet when you have like a new workshop coming up. And yes, like yes, this, yes, right? yes. So I was just yes, I, I will tweet. <laughs> and your website is there, no? So. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for hanging out with us and showing us all of this. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to poke around in it some more. I, I wanted a fun, like, technique to use on webcam and video recordings. So I'm oh, I love that. Yeah. We can go deeper into some specific totally. techniques. If, I mean, if you want I, had, I had tried to wrap my mind around these concepts, like, a, two years before the pandemic. So, wow, two years ago. But it was during a workshop that was on compute shaders, and my mind was already so, like, overwhelmed by, like, compute shaders, shaders and kernels and, like, oh. everything. And I was like, <gasps> um, so, yeah, I'm excited to look at this again. <laughs> and, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe now is the time to understand it better. I mean, I understand the concept, but today I like understand how to like apply it a lot better. So yeah, thank you so much.
Mm. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. I'm so honored. Yeah. I love it. Mm. And I love like having a space to, I love chatting. You realize that. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I love chatting. So, yes. it's, well, it's, you're welcome back like any time, obviously. Yeah, I think it was great really having you. So. And Mario, yeah, yes, you. the feedback template will be available when we post yes. probably like, the yes. replay slash we'll send it out in an email. Yeah. And we're going to post it like for example, we are about to share the one from Bruno, yeah. like uh, the session normally, and, and we will post the, the code pen, the code from Bruno, and we're going to do the same with Sol. Once we share, oh. maybe like in, give us a week or two, and then uh, you'll have it. I think we just got, we must be doing something right, because we got our, our first spam comment. Want to become famous? Really? Nobody click on that, please. Oh, Nobody wow. click on that. Like, how do we throw <laughs> people out of here? No. I have no idea. <laughs> really uh, block click to reply. Really block it. Nah, it, whatever. Just nobody click on that. It's obviously spam. I think you can do it, Eliza, because you're in our account. I'm, yeah, but I, all I have is reply. Click to reply. Ah, okay. I can't just yeah. like throw you out. If I, I'm afraid that if I click on it, it'll be like a, a bug or something. Let's Maybe see. if you click in the know. chat. I'm gonna block spam. You're banned. We don't take spam. Cool. <laughs> no spam. <laughs> strike. You have one strike. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mario can do it too, by the way, because I gave him. Um, oh yeah, Mario. Mario, you, you, matter. Yeah, you can ban people too, Mario. I think, <laughs> by the way. Exercise, but only if they spam. Yeah. Only, yeah. yeah I think mind. so. That's why we gave you BAP uh, a long time ago. I think. Use the power wise. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thank you everybody for coming. Yeah. And. Thank you. And yeah, we'll we'll like like Alethea said, we'll post all the things really, really quick. And we'll share all the links and all of the other things. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Again, muchas gracias, Sol. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thanks for speaking <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, uh, Gracias. Thank you, uh, everyone. I'm happy. Yeah. And have a nice weekend, <laughs> everybody. Thanks for staying. Uh, have a nice weekend, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna go now stop streaming goodbye bye bye bye